G'day, Ryan at Daniel Anderson here. Let me show you how to set up document approvals in your SharePoint document library. Now, we've already seen in previous videos how we can get reminded uh, when documents are up for review and also when new files have been added. So if you're watching on YouTube, then you'll see some cards up there. If you're not, head over to YouTube and you can grab those and look at those videos. Alternatively, jump on the newsletter. This, this is the type of content that gets sent out every single week, sometimes multiple times per week. So head over to danielanderson.io, pop your email address in and you'll start receiving this type of content in your inbox every week. Now let's configure some approvals. So you can see here that I'm in a SharePoint document library. Now from the ribbon across or the command bar across the top here, under automate, you can see that I've got configure approvals alongside setting a reminder. Uh, because we've got a date column, I can set a reminder based on that date column. I can configure my rules from this menu as well. And now we can configure and enable document approvals. So let's enable this uh, feature and we'll hit apply. Now what you'll notice in the library is we've now got a brand new column called approval status. We've got a little button here as well. You can see that all of these documents are set to not submitted. So if we wanted to submit this document for approval, all we need to do is hit this button and you can see that I've got a dialog box that pops up. I can name this uh, approval or give this approval a name. I'm just going to say, uh, please, let's go please review and approve the anti-discrimination policy. So there's the name. I can pop in my approvers. So I need uh, Daniel to approve that. And if I had multiple approvers, then I could require a response from all the approvers. If I had multiple in here, I can uh, have a uh, pop some details in, have a look at this and let me know and we'll hit submit. Okay, so that now is going to send an approval uh, notification to that person or multiple people if we chose multiple people. We can see that it's down the bottom here, it's creating the approval request. Once that's been created, then we are, uh, then that process will start. So that has now started. We can see the approval request has been created. The approval status has changed automatically for me to requested. And now let's have a look at the notification. Okay, so what we can see here inside of Microsoft Teams in the approvals app, I've got a, a, an approval in here that is waiting for me to action. I also had an activity, uh, an item that popped up in the activity feed also. And you can see there, there is the dialog box that pops up in my activity feed. I've got a link to the document. I can see the status and I can actually approve this document directly from this card. Or if I'm in the approvals app here, then you can see there's the source. It's been requested, it was created, it was sent by somebody, in this case, myself. I sent it to myself and you can see that we can, um, we can take action on that. So I'm going to approve that and now, what we're going to be now, what we're going to see is I'll pop back into SharePoint over here. We can see that this is the document libel that, that we've got in question. Now that that document has been approved, this status column also is going to uh, change as well. Now, one thing to note about the approval process. So once you send an approval and it changes over to uh, requested, when editing files, any in-flight approvals are going to be canceled if changes are saved. So to discourage these edits of in-progress approvals, files are always going to open in view only mode in Word, Excel and PowerPoint for the web. And the same Windows desktop applications will show that the document is marked as final as well. All right, so just something to, to, uh, to take note of there. Let's have a look at that in action. So if I select this document, I'm going to submit this document. I will give this approval across again to Daniel. We will submit that. It's creating the approval request. That has now been, uh, been done. I'm going to open up the approval request here. Now, I'm going to open the document 
And what we'll see is that it is in view only mode, right? So that obviously discourages edits, right? Now, if I go and edit this document, so we can have a look here and see that's requested. If I go ahead now and edit this document, we'll make some changes to this document. Let, and you can see here, this document has been marked as final. Saving changes will remove the status, right? So I'm going to delete this. I'll add some content. We'll just add a, add a bit of content here. That's now being saved, all right? So we can see here, that's now saved. If I pop back into my document library and I'll hit refresh now, um, and let's have a look at the status here. So we can see it's been, uh, let's close this down and we'll hit the refresh button. You can see that this document, that status has now been removed. So I would have to restart the approval process. If I've edited that document, I've saved it, I've closed it, the status changes. I then need to submit that again for approval. All right, so just something to be aware of in the process of that approval. So there we go, configuring approvals on your document libraries uh, gives you the outcomes that you're after. Don't forget, subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, these type of things happen every single week. DanielAnderson.io, pop your email address in and you'll get these in your inbox.